five, six, seven, eight. That side is filled. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is an experiment that was conducted 25 years ago by Marshall McLuhan and a team, and also Eric. And I would like to introduce Eric. Could you come here, Eric? Eric McLuhan, Marshall's son, is with us. You already know a fair amount about what's going to happen. I'll just review it again. I'll put a film on the screen. I'll let it run. This is just an exercise in watching a movie in two different ways at once. This group will be seeing light transmitted through the screen. We call it the transmitted light side. And you're on the reflected light. Side. Light reflected from the screen like ordinary movie. Would somebody operate the lights? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Ready? Right, now, please don't talk to each other about it, but would everybody kindly take out a sheet of paper and uh, write about half a page to a page of um, comments, just whatever seems to you remarkable or noteworthy or significant. One group of the students talked about the experience as if it uh, happened over there on a screen. It was something outside of them. It happened over there, and they were objective, comparatively speaking. The other group talked about, about themselves. Most of their comments referred to themselves and how they felt and what they thought. I mean, the main question is, light is light. Why uh, light true is not the same as light reflected? Oh. What, what's the problem? The difference between uh, reflected light which happens over there and transmitted light is that when light comes through you become the screen and you wrap yourself in those images and so you don't have any detachment you are the screen it tattoos itself on you but reflected light is reflected on me too no no reflected off the screen over there uh, another way to get at the difference is this uh, with transmitted light, the image or the screen itself is the source of light. It shines at you. It's exactly the same as television. The computer screen is the same kind of thing. Uh, back in the uh, 60s, General Electric Corporation had asked a psychologist, Mr. Krugman, to prove uh, that what Marshall McLuhan was saying about media was wrong. It was completely counterintuitive. Everybody knew that uh, it was the content that had the effect and, and so on. So they hired him to prove that. And he came up with an experiment using a, a EEG, an electroencephalograph. And unfortunately, he could not prove McLuhan was wrong. Instead, he proved he was right. That uh, the response of the brain was to the medium itself very much more than it was to whatever the content was. The two sides of the cortex actually process information in enormously different ways. The left side of the brain uh, is the side that deals with speech and with writing and with any kind of logical or rational reasoning. The right side of the brain is more concerned with the emotions, um, more concerned with um, um, imagery, and what TV does to the brain is it imposes on us an enormous right brain bias. And what's the effect of a right brain bias on our individuality? Oh, fine. Uh, it gets rid of individualism. Individualism, or private identity, or privacy, are strictly left brain emotions. And only one culture has ever had any sort of... Uh, uh, interest in this, and that's Western culture, and we're losing that rather quickly. Nearly everything we do today emphasizes group culture and uh, participation 
and group awareness. Uh, and uh, you cannot do that and be an individual. The problem is, when you listen to, to that kind of thing, you said, okay, group experiment, right brain, uh, uh, abandon of objectivity and all that, uh, could be very totalitarian, that kind of society. I mean, mm -hmm. if everybody is immersed in the same dream, it's, it's one definition of totalitarianism. Mm -hmm.